Okay, that's a fair few enemies. Wait, what the hell are these? Oh, we have Noyak and Mist- Whoa, cool! Oh my god, it's a full-out war! Hello everyone, my name is Gracian, and welcome to episode 3 of this Let's Play of Gordian Quest. It's been a while since I've published a series on this, but it is a great, great game. It's a tactical deck builder, and it ticks a lot of the boxes off of things that you're looking for in a game, or at least that I'm looking for. It's got progression mechanics, it's got tactical gameplay, it's got deck building, it's got great art, it's got meaningful decisions in the, the path that you take, and it's got some really interesting enemies and combinations of effects. It's really quite a fun game. It kind of got that bit of a vibe in terms of like D&D, &D, you know, where it uses like strength, dex, and intelligence. So it kind of like uses those stats in a way like where every two points is a plus one modifier to your skills. And you can equip all this enchanted gear that gives you better stats and all sorts of cool stuff. It's, it's such a great game. So let's head on back to the map. I think we were looking at heading down this way first, if I recall, so we could hit the shrine and load up some crazy stuff down here in the future. So let's do that. I would like to get a blessing. That's always nice to have. So let's head to the shrine. If I had incense, I'd probably use it so I can um, send more stuff off, but it's whatever. Area contains traps, energy siphon, level one higher. Uh, party blessed with three vigil. Area drops rare armor, enemy side of the field is trapped. That's fine, let's just do that. All right, modified. Uh, looks like a bunch of them went here, so this one's gonna be, let's see, drops another item, bless with vigil. So this one will be still tough because they have the energy siphon affecting me, but I have the vigil. Uh, but there's a bunch of extra bonuses for doing that one. So that's a pretty clear choice. We could get some really good experience and items out of that fight there. And then we'll decide from there. So let's head off this way, get our blessing, as well as do an event. Elemental protection. Interesting. Over a ridge, you spot a band of desert outlaws harassing two Noyakin traders. A fight seems imminent, and the Noyakin appear to be outmatched and outnumbered. We can move on. Uh, adding extra undead to the map, or we can help them. Let's help them out. Lucius approves. Lucius and Kudo got some handshake points. Weapons drawn, you approach the group. The outlaws don't take kindly to your interruption, and a battle is joined. Okay, that's a fair few enemies. Wait, what the hell are these? Oh, we have Noyak and Mist- Whoa, cool! Oh my god, it's a full-out war! So Kudo has a Might. Now why is that? 30% damage on the next one hit. Why are you getting that? I'm not actually sure about that. Um, elemental Protection. And then Lucius is over here. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff to unpack here. We've got Shift and Guard. Uh, the only ones that are attacking are these... Oh wait, this one's doing something. Move into target's lane deals 10 damage. Target's a specific cell. So I can move out of the cell. This one's going to hit um, straight. Oh, yeah, it's going to hit Lucius once again. 12 damage three times. Minus one hit for every row apart from target. Um, this is the row, I think. So I want to get... This is a lane. And this is a row. So I want to be... Yeah, like right now it's going to hit twice. Um, if I get all the way over to here, it would be... God, somebody's going to get hit several times. This is dangerous. When receiving a melee hit, deal one damage to the attacker. Interesting. What are these guys? Look like angry blaze swine? They look like goblins? That's pretty interesting. What are what are you guys? Venom hag. Oh. Drifter. I, 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 hmm. Alright, so that's a complicated one to, to deal with. We have over here a steal card. Deal nine damage. Steal a card from the target's draw or discard pile. Return card to target draw pile on death. Oh, they take it for the rest of the battle. Ugh. Oh, potent. This goes through guard. So that's a problem. These guys have a lot of health. This is a boss fight. Shit. There's two bosses. That's why this guy hits so hard. And then this one here is going to do moving thrust. Move into target's lane. Deal ten damage. Targets a target's specific cell for the round. So if I move, goodness, this is, 
There's a lot. Three con create concealment on three friendly cells. Maybe we do that. Is anyone targeting him? Let me, let me click off of him. Oh, it's still highlighting him because he's the one going now. So no one's currently targeting him. So if he stays where he is... Let's make the concealment. Shit, I didn't want to move. I messed that up. Let's, uh... Let's get back there. We can't, we can't afford to get... I was trying to click on the cell. I, I misunderstood. I, ugh. Getting three guard. They're still getting three guard. Okay. Um, oh, the mystics are going. Okay. So maybe they can do damage and I can focus on staying alive? Ice shard. So they, they fight more like enemies where they have like a predetermined pattern of things they play. Um, I don't have that much block, so that's 10, but this damage goes through block. Bleed. Uh, reach debuff on the target. Oh god, that guy's gonna die. He's not even gonna get a turn. Wow, I did a lot more damage than I thought. Alright, that's enough for here. Now this is free, so I'm, I might as well use it because I generate SP for it. Same here. Oh, I, de oh, I still got the debuff. Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't know that would work that way. Did you see that? I cast it on myself even though I, there were no debuffs to remove and I still got a debuff so I gotta be careful with that card so I can't play that one just for the hell of it alright Lucius oh he went down to yeah so you're gonna get smacked like a couple of times so we need so there's parry parry deal 10 damage gain 18 critical so we're probably gonna do guard Guard. Guard. There we go. I don't want to use this because we're wasting the critical. Okay, our mystics are helping. Sort of. Okay, I don't, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why I took that much damage. So I guess, was I wrong about what's a row and what's a lane? Oh, maybe it was for every row. Oh, a row apart from the target. So not this way, but this way. So yeah, that would have been a lane apart. Boy, that's complicated. Okay, so because he got shifted up to the front, he hit three times instead of two times. Otherwise, it would have been... Yeah, it would have been two times. So now he's going to do it again. Row apart from the target. So I got to back up is what I have to do. There's a lot of damage coming in this way. So I got to I gotta back the hell up here. Um, okay. Create concealment on your current cell. We're just going to do that. My poison. Now this... Is this the one that chains? No, it's not. So let's slap that on... Um, this guy, because he's got block, and it'll go through the block. Oh, no, you can't apply debuffs if they have armor. Oh, my gosh, I'm doing such a terrible job. Let's kill that one. Can't reach anybody from here. Now, I could walk up. Okay, that's a lot of poison. I might shift back this way just to stay safe. Now, this character, we have to... I think we gotta back up. His damage went up. What the hell? 
Did you see that? I also have this potion. We should use that now. I am I am worried about this. Okay, they didn't get through the guard. And we have a couple of units are gonna die from poisoning, which is great. This one's gonna do that same attack on the Mystic this time. Those ones already have concealment. Uh, so let's do really have anything else to do though is the problem so I'll just do that and then chuck a dagger that would kill that guy maybe we're better off doing that uh, looks like we can get probably enough poison on him to kill him so let's save the SP Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. It's going to shift again. Guard. That one's going to attack for 10 on the NPC. So get attack opening and a critical. These ones are dead. So never mind. Just this one. This one's not even attacking. They're stealing. I don't want to shift forward. Well, yeah, I can shift forward. <laughs> All right, there we go. So that's that's lethal, I think. Let's just let's just um, guard. Okay, that was tough. Made a couple mistakes, but uh, at least I've learned from it. Now we got some friendship points for some reason. Raise synergy, grants access to more unique tactical cards. Okay, so we got a level. We got very little money. Uh, here we go. Ooh, Raider's Reign becomes silenced for three turns on battle start, but you get plus one melee attack damage, plus two range attack dam damage, and 6% increased gold found. Hmm. I don't know what silenced means. Does that mean the spell tag? Does anyone have... <laughs> Does anyone have any spells? Yeah, spell debuff. Oh, these are... Oh my god, most most of his cards are spells. What about Lucius? Attack, melee, buff. So this guy doesn't have any spells. Alphonse has one spell. So we could take the ring and put it on one of these two. We also have the Dire Crescent. Plus one dexterity, range attacks generate five critical... Plus one range attack damage. Now, Alphonse, these are ranged, but they don't do damage. So he would gain critical, and then the only way he can use it is if he has a throwing dagger. So that's not super good. He's also got a stab. I'd like to get that out of his deck. Actually, that's kind of a pointless card for him. I feel like he does so much more damage with just poisoning. Also, these are bad. What the hell is the point of this deck? <laughs> All right, next up we have the Sudden Epiphany. Grants mana transfer. 1% chance to gain max channel when you gain channel. Lose all channel on turn end, plus one intelligence. It's absolutely not going to be that one. Hmm. Plus one dexterity, range attacks generate five critical. Plus one range attack damage. Hmm. This is, this is more useful, even though I don't really like it. So we're going to grab that, and we're going to put that on this guy. He's going to lose his plus one intelligence. Uh, 
That'll lower his damage on his... No, it won't. He's got he's got 14. So does anybody want this plus one intelligence? I don't think anybody else has intelligence cards, but he can at least gain the extra SP. Which is good. This stupid crossbow, too, that we don't want. Because it's got this bad... This skill on it that does nothing. It also gives range damage, which again... Oh, the veteran oak staff is what's giving him epidemic. No, it's not. We saw we saw of that in there. We saw of that in there. Okay. So let's head off down to. Whoop, nope, we got a level up here. Uh, so Kudo can get another talent. I think I might grab the the health. Shields. Restore four HP upon upon surviving a battle. No. Maximum HP plus some physical resist. Recover one HP on kill. Four strength. Let's just get the maximum HP because I'm feeling a little squishy. He's up to 29. Subterfuge card. And then we've got a double stat point here. So let's do that. Epidemic. Another one of those. Yeah, I think so. And Lucius, we have... Probably, in we'll probably head this way. Boost a card's base values. So we mastered this one. So this might be the right one. Now it does two more damage and two more criticals. So that's basically four more damage. So let's do that one. It's a pretty great card. It's missing a little bit of health. Do we have any healing items? We do have this leaf. Put that on him. And head down to this next battle. We have Living Sand, Spirit Mystic, and Storm Spirit. I think these are the ones that when they die, they turn into the next lower one, which is pretty fun. Let's see here. Turn sand. Resurrect into living sand barrier upon death. Living sand. Yeah, interesting. These ones are actually weak to chaos damage to poison. That's interesting. That's useful. This guy's resist fire. We don't do fire. This guy's resist a little bit of physical. The sand ones. Okay. So, what are they doing? They're not doing anything. Play eight shock. Uh, that will actually, so that will chain. So we do need a bit of defense. Targets a specific unit for the round, misses if they move out of range. Same here, you're attacking, but you can hit everywhere. So better to just block, block up, I think. Yeah, so we're going to fog of war the first turn. Get the concealment in stealth. Um, get a bit of, yeah. So you're going to need a little bit of block as well. Because again, this, this lightning will could chain to other things. And we want everybody to have blocks so that they can't, or guard so that they can't get status effects. Let's get this um, opener here. If we can kill this guy, he doesn't get to, doesn't get to target us. But we would still have the chain attack, so we have to watch out for that. This now costs zero. We don't need the shift. Let's almost kill him here. He's going to turn into sand. And then we'll parry. So we won't take the shock. And then Kudo. I think... So we want to get a little bit of guard... Eight shock. It's not great, is it? Let's move back to here and then use one of this, and then we'll get two more or three more on turn end, which will give us more than the eight. Seventy-five percent, because it does physical damage. 
All right, and then we'll we'll put bleed on him. Damage. Plus nine damage reduced debuff. Oh, okay. But this has a this is a front to back because it's melee, so I can't target that guy. So I'll just I'll just save the I'll just save it. All right, so they're guarding up. Those little guys are just there to body block for the mystic. So the shock didn't get through because we have shield, so we didn't get any we didn't get any shock. Electric thorns. Interesting. Seven shock damage to melee attackers. This is ranged. So what are they doing now? We've got mud apply root. It's potent. Doesn't super matter. Shock and chains wants root. And this is just some electric damage. So we may want to scoot him somewhere else. So now this one doesn't have a target. This one doesn't have a target. That's pretty good. So now we can just do whatever we want because they can't really hit me now. That would do 13 damage. Plus the 7. So that's not enough. So we're going to put this on him just so it kills him. There we go. 24 damage from poison. Perfect. And then this will deal damage. Yeah, buttload of damage because I played... Okay, uh, this is... This is... This is death for this one, isn't it? Oh, I could kill this one so I can't... No, I can't. It's got 34 armor. <laughs> Whoops. We'll just explode that one completely. So we have shock, but it can't... I don't think it can chain... Oh, the, the chain one's gone, yeah. This one repeats on adjacent target. So there's no one adjacent to the target anyway, even if it was hitting. That's interesting. We have quick draw gain critical. Let's see. It's a lot of block to get through, but I don't want to shift over here and fight because there's a lot of damage in this lane so let's just we're just gonna have to try to bash through it okay we got a little bit of damage through not much else i can do at least we're building up sp that's always useful okay now kudo is gonna get rooted and it's potent so the status on the skill ignores guard so it doesn't matter if we have any guard it's still gonna root us but it doesn't super matter oh here's the chaining poison let's put it on this one Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's so much poison. Look at that. Oh my god. Convert a bleed to chill shock or poison. Well, we might as well use it because it's zero cost. And it's not going to impact the damage he takes. And we get SP out of it. There, so that one's dead. God, look at that. That's so fun. Oh, did you guys want to take turns? No, no targets. Also dead. I wonder if that guy will still turn into a sand guy. I assume he will, but sometimes in games, like, if there's nothing left when he dies, he's not going to turn into the next thing. Hmm. So we have a shock to the target. So we need to scoot on over. Stab, applied poison, and we'll just stab him. Uh, yes, okay, we do have this guy. We could epidemic him. It's not, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to save the SP. This carries over between battles, and we don't need it. He's not even taking a turn. Let's we'll get him the old-fashioned way. Basic attacks. 
I think I need to invest in speed on Kudo. Maybe get some initiative bonuses from a talent, because if he can go before these guys, he can put the bleed on things. That seems really important. Renown and some coins. Another level up. This game is a, a leveling up simulator, to be honest. And I'm fine with that. So we've got the double stat points here, and we've got the Malediction card specifically. So let's head up to add a stat point. We will just add another dex, of course. Here we have a reduced minimum deck size. I am good with that because we could take out like stab and then like maybe one of these not so good defense cards. It'd be actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's, let's do it. We can make the deck extremely small and, oh, but there's two stat points here. He's got extremely high dexterity. Uh, let's go with this for now. He's getting big bonuses to stuff. That's awesome. Okay, and here's another talent slot. Um, let's see. If we had any weaponry, we could start working on this. Plus one base damage on melee cards. One-handed blunt weapons and scepters would get damage, but we don't have any equipment. Daggers and swords, plus one base damage on melee cards. Oh, gosh. Plus four strength. Maximum health. Shields. Again, we don't have any equipment yet. Armor. Uh-huh. Yep. Two-handed swords and spears. While below 30%. Oh, no, but he's not a strength boy. Well, he actually has pretty decent strength, to be honest. Oh, here's 10 initiative. Maybe we should put that on... What's his face? I'm just gonna get this. Um, it's real basic, but he scales extremely well at dexterity because of that one upgrade we got. Let me look at that card again. Yeah, this card, hold control here. 175% of your dex mod. Is how much critical? So this is this doesn't even cost your action points. This is like your SP. So this is quote unquote a free card. And this is you know, if you do this first, you're gain you're doing 14 damage and then gaining critical, which is just damage on your next hit. So this is essentially 37 damage for quote unquote free. Uh, that is a great card. That's the best card uh, in my deck. That's amazing. So you use that, and then you use any other attack, and you just obliterate them. Uh, the lunge is now better than the slash. I'll have to remember that because it's scaling on decks, so it's up to 13, where this is still 11. His deck's pretty good. It's extremely basic and extremely effective. Even his guard, look at that. Ten guard and four thorns. Pretty nice. Did I have any gear to put on anybody? Nope. Really need to find a shop. Is there a shop? Give me a shop. There's a merchant down here. We have some money. We'll think about doing that. I do, I do want to go do this this really hard fight right here. Nine enemies over two waves, so they're going to add... Probably most of these won't be on the start. It'll probably be this one and like a couple of these, and then they'll start jumping in. Um, we get a uh, extra item, a little bit extra gold. Actually, I'm not sure if that's 111% more gold or 11% more gold. You know what I mean? I assume it's the, the more than double, but I'm not actually sure. So, energy siphon, so have to watch out for that. I think that lowers your action points or something if you start your turn on it, so have to watch out for that. And then we get a bunch of gold before a shrine, so that's a great node. And as long as we survive here, we get to head off to a campsite if we so choose. Okay, so we're going to have to end this episode here. We will head off to this really hard fight on the next episode. So thank you everybody so much for watching. been a long time since I've played. I'm a bit rusty. But I think I'm still doing a pretty good job. We are on hard with a random team, but they're pretty good. So I think we're going to be okay. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.